the Focusrite Sapphire range. The only interfaces with Focusrite Pre's. Focusrite, the interface company. We're here at the AES show on a Saturday morning with Ollie, who's going to tell us about the new incarnation of AutoMap, uh, especially in conjunction with uh, Logic 9, because apparently there were certain limitations with Logic 8, which you've now overcome. Yes, uh, previously uh, users of AutoMap with Logic uh, had the ability to control Logic's mixer, yeah. um, but internal instruments and effects, because they weren't actual AU plugins, we couldn't map them. Mm. However, we've been working with Logic, and if you update your version of Logic 9 to 901, mm -hmm. uh, support of all of Logic's instruments and effects is now native. So there's no setup, you just plug in your unit and you're ready to go. That sounds great, let's show us. So we've got Logic here, um, and I've got a, an instrument channel with a few instruments. So if I simply load up an instrument window and press view on my unit, as soon as you open the plugin, your Nocturne keyboard or SL or any of our AutoMap enabled devices uh, will jump to be able to control this instrument. So nice simple plug-in, I've got ESP um, and here's the AutoMap window which matches the hardware of the AutoMap keyboard and as expected turn a knob and we've got our cutoff moving here and of course our cutoff moving here. Um, the same things with AutoMap in uh, VSTs and AUs. If you don't like the way it's mapped, you can remap it. So we can press the Learn button. Let's wiggle our LFO speed and then touch this control. And now here, we've got LFO speed. Uh, same thing with effects as well. So let's open up a, an effect plugin. There we go, open up the plugin, AutoMap window switches, and we're ready to control that plugin. The other way of doing it is using these buttons here. So we've got effects and instrument buttons. So we press the instrument button here. There are all the instruments on our project. Press the effects button. There are all the effects in our project. If you're running AUs and, uh, well, AUs in Logic, if you're running AUs as long with the internal instruments, then they just get added to the list. So you can get access to your AUs as easy as you can to your internal plugins. We're currently in beta, uh, but within a week, we hope, it should be released to the public as a free update for all AutoMap users. Yeah, which is good news for me because I have a nocturne just waiting to work with Logic 9. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks very much, Ollie. Thank you.